Hey folks, Matt from Hidden Machine here with another Max Payne tutorial. A new version of the Fix Pack has been released, and I did a video back in 2023 with the previous edition of the Fix Pack. I get regular comments on that video with some people saying it works for them, some people saying it doesn't, and I'm hoping this new Fix Pack will address some of those outstanding issues. Now, we're gonna go through this whole thing bit by bit, step by step. First thing you wanna do is install Max Payne. So I'm using the Steam version, and you wanna just go to the default path for installation. I've had some people say, oh, I installed the game to this other directory. Well, just try, if you can, install it to the default Steam folder, you know, on your C drive. All right, now this is installed. We're going to go, and there is a link to this in the description of this video. And this is a really good guide. If you want a, you know, a much more in-depth breakdown of everything, you can check this out. But essentially, this pack has a variety of fixes all compiled into one custom installer. There is a version of this fix that includes some upscaled textures. It's an AI upscale from a number of years ago that I do think looks pretty good for the most part. It has some custom textures as well, but I'm going to go with the no added textures version, although there's not a huge difference aside from the file size since, you know, they're replacing a bunch of the low res textures. So this is fine. We're leaving Steam. Nothing to worry about here. And yeah, I got it. I don't need that. Going to hit download. It's going to initialize. Just wait a moment here. And we're going to save it. All right, so this is something where Windows is flagging it. You just need to go to keep, hit those three little dots and go to keep. And then over here, it's going to say, hey, are you sure you want it? I'm going to go, yes, keep it anyway. Okay, that's just Windows trying to keep you safe because a lot of people can be dummies. Okay, now this is in my downloads folder. We're going to open this up, hit yes. This is just letting us confirm with Windows that we want this to do its thing. Now this is asking us to confirm the location of the game. It has some tips here on some, you know, common file paths where you can find it, but mine is going to be in C slash program files x86. We're going to go down to Steam, then down to Steam apps, common, and Max Payne. Hit next. Now this is where you can confirm which parts of the fix you want. I would say if you're just a standard Windows 10, Windows 11 user, uh, just go with everything default. There are a few options here for different uh, startup fixes. This helps to make sure the game will start up. This is a sound fix. There's all sorts of issues with sound on this game. The widescreen fix is optional. The game is normally in a 4x3 aspect ratio, but if you're on a widescreen monitor, a 16x9 monitor, and you want a widescreen version of the game, check that, and it will keep it from stretching and making Max look extra wide. And uh, the JPEG error is another super common error on modern PCs. Uh, older, I think Windows 7 and, and prior machines don't have that issue, but most computers these days do. Unlock all difficulty levels. Now, this is an optional thing. It's kind of a cheat, really. If you can beat the game on a higher difficulty level, it unlocks a special secret difficulty level. Uh, we're just going to check that one and the support files. We're just going to keep all that checked, and I am going to also install the, the little cheat there for all difficulty levels. Okay, no texture pack. And install. It's just going to finish that installation here. Waiting. Okay. Finish. And minimize this go back to steam here and let's hit play and see how it works now the first thing you get 
is this launcher. And this is common for older games. If you haven't played a lot of 90s, early 2000s games, you might not have seen something like this before, but this lets you pick, you know, all the basic uh, settings for visuals and everything here. Now, you'll see that some of these are set to medium instead of high. Almost everything is on high, some are on medium. Medium is needed for these to work. If you want a deeper explanation of why, it's there in the tutorial for the fix pack on Steam. Uh, Anti-aliasing, it gives the edges uh, a bit of smoothing. I don't really care about that personally, so I'm going to leave that off, but that's up to you. Everything else, I would say just leave it default, unless, you know, if you're having trouble running the game for whatever reason, you could bring some of these down, but keep level textures, other textures, and detail textures at medium for this. And you can also pick your uh, display adapter, screen mode, acceleration. These are things that if you find you have issues with the game, again, consult the guide. There are some troubleshooting tips. And also, people are really nice in the comments on that thread and will help you troubleshoot. All right, we're going to hit play. Got the startup. Got the startup video here. Uh, let's just go into the game proper and see how it's working. Okay, we'll hit new game. See, we've got the New York Minute, uh, which gives you a time limit on each level. That is very difficult, but we're gonna start on Fugitive. Now, if the fix didn't work, uh, at this point, you would be seeing uh, a bunch of errors popping up. It's Acer Plaza. Repeat, Acer Plaza. But this seems like it's working pretty good so far. Now, we're going to actually get into the game proper and just make sure everything is running the way it's supposed to be. But I'm feeling confident right now. Okay, and I'm realizing something I've got going on here is uh, the aspect ratio is messed up. What the hell? We've got the 4-3 aspect ratio, even though the game is trying to do the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So we're going to do a quick save. And I'm going to quit. We're going to open it back up. And I think the issue here is that I am on a 4K monitor. So this is 1080 by 2560. So I'm going to do a 1080 by 1920. And that was my mistake there, so I'm glad I caught that. That intro video is actually a video file that plays, so that's always going to be in the uh, 4x3 aspect ratio. You can't change that, but here we go. That is fixed. What the hell? Now... We'll check this here. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. And again, so, you know, if you're having the issues where the scaling isn't right or you want to see the buttons, F2 on these scenes. And you can press F1 to review the graphic novel. Right there. Comes right up. Michelle! Okay, now if you haven't played this game before, uh, spoilers <laughs> for this scene. Freeze! NYPD, drop it! coming! I'm gonna hurt you. The flesh of fallen angels! Oh! 
No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. All right, now, here is one persistent issue that I have never seen any fix pack actually fix, which is this exclamation point gets baked into the scenes. Um, maybe someone else has a solution for that, but as far as this game goes, I'll live with it. That's one minor issue for a game that you couldn't even open uh, previous to these fix packs being distributed. So that's the Max Payne Fix Pack Tutorial 2025 edition. Hopefully it was very clear. And in my experience, that was a lot smoother than the earlier editions of the Fix Pack. I had to do some weird stuff the first time around and it, things would kind of the screen would go black and it wouldn't look like it was working at first during the installation or the first initial setup uh feel free to chime in down in the comments if you have any other questions or if you have any other kind of tips or anything for players who want more out of this game or if you know anything about how to clear that exclamation point all right so hopefully this is helpful i've been as clear as i could trying to show every step if you appreciate this, we've got plenty more Remedy and Max Payne related videos here on the channel. And if you want to support what we do, channel memberships, Patreon, always open. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us do what we do. And uh, until next time, see ya.